Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about this new shocking Fox News poll that shows Kamala Harris leading in Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, and only one point behind in the state of North Carolina, which is just four battleground states, but it does indicate really, and we'll get to this, that Kamala Harris would landslide the battleground states, that she would win uh, all of the battleground states besides North Carolina, which of course in this poll is going to Donald Trump by just a very narrow 1%. But let's just go through the results real quick. This is a new Fox poll uh, result that was just released uh, a couple hours ago or a couple minutes ago. Um, some time ago today, 6.01 p.m. This tweet is from, so just about half an hour ago. So in Georgia, Kamala Harris is ahead by 2%. Now, Georgia voted for Joe Biden by 0.2%, so obviously... We see here Kamala Harris making gains in the state of Georgia. In the state of Nevada, Kamala Harris is ahead again for reference. In Nevada, Joe Biden won the state in 2020 by 2.4 percentage points. In the state of Arizona, Kamala Harris has narrow but still lead by uh, 1%, 50% to 49%. So that's a one-point lead. In Arizona, once again expanding on Joe Biden's margin of victory in the last election, which was 0.3%. And then finally, we have North Carolina, which is 50% for Trump, 49 for Harris. So that is a Trump plus 1% lead in North Carolina. Now, North Carolina voted for Donald Trump by 1.3%. So um, a marginal gain for Kamala Harris in North Carolina. Now, again, this is just four states. Whoops. Oh, God. Deleted the tweet. But that was just four states. That was... Uh, that was Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. Now, let's fill out that map. Again, in Arizona, she's ahead by 1%. In Georgia, ahead by 2 In Nevada, ahead by 2 So, again, that's just uh, three states. She wins three out of the four. North Carolina votes for Trump by 1%. And then, uh, we have these three remaining battleground states. That's 44 total more electoral votes. And we see that neither candidate, you know, given these um, divisive times... Uh, you know, when it comes to uh, state splitting, we see that no candidate is above the 270 needed to win the presidency. Kamala Harris and Tim Walz are at 259 electoral votes, so they are 11 away from victory. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance at 235, a more distant um, 35 electoral votes away from victory. So we have these three states, you know, it comes down to these three. And if, you know, when you look at the margins in these states, if she is winning in Nevada, and more importantly, if she's winning in Arizona and Georgia, that would indicate that these uh, states, by all metrics that we're about to get to, all of them would at least go to her by a lean margin. That would mean, um, you know, by, again, all metrics, that she is winning these states as well. Again, they didn't pull these three states. They only pulled the four states that, of course, I just showed before. But, you know, with these numbers that we have, it would mean that Kamala Harris wins the three Rust Belt states as well, which gives her um, a, a near sweep of the battleground states, only losing North Carolina. And let's just take a look at the margins, for example. I mean, you've got Georgia, where uh, Joe Biden won by 0 0.2, again. And Kamala Harris is winning this poll by 2%. So, you know, she's overperforming Joe Biden from 2020 by some 1.8% in Georgia. In Arizona, you have a similar example. She's ahead by one in Arizona. That's outpacing Joe Biden's 2020 margin by 0.7%. Now, when you look at these other uh, battleground states that they didn't pull, which is Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, you see that they are all more Democratic than Arizona and Georgia, where Harris is already outpacing, um, is already outpacing Joe Biden. We see, again... 0.3 in Arizona, 0.2 in Georgia, but let's take a look at the Rust Belt battleground states, the Blue Wall, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, Joe Biden won by 1.2% in 2020. Michigan, he won by 2.8%. Wisconsin, he won by 0.6%. So we see these states are more Democratic than take Arizona and Georgia. And, you know, again, in these two states, at least, Harris is already outpacing Biden by, let's call it on average, 1%. So if Biden won, if this poll holds true, of course, 
and Biden won uh, Wisconsin by six, then we're looking at a Harris plus 1.6% win, at least in the poll. If he won it by, if Biden won by 2.8 in Michigan, Harris outpacing uh, Biden by 1%, then we could see a 3.8 victory in Michigan, and then a 2.2% victory in the state of Pennsylvania. So point being, these um, three states are more Democratic than the others, at least um, Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. Nevada, not so much. Only Michigan is more Democratic than Nevada. But Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, the Rust Belt is more uh, is bluer than those states. So if she is winning in Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, coming extremely close in North Carolina, only losing it to Trump by a point in the poll, then you could absolutely expect uh, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania to go blue if they conducted the poll in these three states as well. And it's not just 2020 results. This is also holding up when you compare the polls from these, um, from Arizona and Georgia and North Carolina versus, and Nevada for that matter, uh, on average versus what we see in the Rust Belt. The Rust Belt is simply bluer and uh, we'll get to it. But in Arizona, Harris is ahead by 0.8%. In Georgia, Harris, I'm sorry, Trump is ahead by 0.7%. This is the uh, on average results of all polls. This doesn't include Fox News, uh, interestingly. In North Carolina, uh, Donald Trump is ahead by a very narrow 0.3%. So we see again, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, extremely close. Two of them, Georgia, North Carolina, going to Trump. But now let's compare that to the numbers that we are seeing in the Rust Belt. In Michigan, Kamala Harris ahead. Different, very different story. By 2.8%. In Pennsylvania, Harris is ahead by 1.6%. Another different story. In Wisconsin, Kamala Harris is ahead by 3.4%. A very healthy margin of victory currently, if this does hold true, in Wisconsin. So not only does 2020 results prove that Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, um, and Nevada in the state of, in the case of Michigan, uh, not only does uh, this you know, the 2020 results prove that these states are less blue than the Rust Belt battleground states. Polling indicates the same thing. So what does this all mean? As I indicated, I, I think I'm um, in the in the um, beginning of this video. It means that if Arizona and Georgia and North Carolina uh, are Arizona and Georgia are going blue and North Carolina looks extremely close, then it means we could expect very easily in this poll for Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania to go easily blue as well by even higher margins than the other states Fox News polled. So again, what that means is that Kamala Harris gets a near sweep of the battleground states. The, bat the seven battlegrounds are Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada. If someone is telling you otherwise, then they are lying to you. Those are the seven core battleground states in this election. Kamala Harris wins six. We are approaching the point where Kamala Harris can get an electoral landslide. That would be by winning North Carolina and then by a mere miracle flipping the state of Florida, which gives her almost 350 electoral votes. But that would be in a more best case uh, scenario. Um, but she's approaching that. Every day that gets closer. Fox News is an A-rated pollster. I'm sure many people would think that they're biased towards Republicans considering uh, their news coverage. I don't know about that. I mean, their polls, they're an A-rated pollster, so apparently not. Apparently, they're pretty, they're very fair with their polling. But still, they're an A-rated pollster, showing Kamala Harris, by all metrics, not only winning Nevada, Arizona, and Georgia, but carrying the blue wall as well. It's not even that close of an election. This is Biden, almost Joe Biden's margin in 2020. Biden won 306 electoral votes. Trump won 232. We're at 303. To, th to 235. It's the exact same map. It's only different in the count because of uh, population changes and uh, because of that 2020 census and thus electoral vote changes in each state shifts. So, wow. I mean, Kamala Harris is crushing it in this new Fox News poll. Uh, and this is where things stand right now, according to that poll. So, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe down below. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before Election Day. So if you could help me get there, that would be great. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.